Good morning and happy first day of school. We are so excited for the new school year, 2021 school year here in MPS and here at Seaford Elementary School. Today we're going to start out the day with a read aloud and I am going to be reading. You all know I'm a huge basketball fan, actually a huge Bucks fan. The Bucks didn't do so well yesterday, but we're going to bounce back. We're going we're gonna to bounce back. Um, but this gentleman here had a great game yesterday, actually forced a game seven uh, against the Houston Rockets. So we are excited about that. And so today's read aloud is called Long Shot by NBA All-Star Chris Paul. Bumpity bump, bumpity bump, bumpity bump. Michael Jordan is stalled in double coverage. He looks for an outlet. Bumpity bump, bumpity bump, bumpity bump. Jordan sees Chris Paul streaking down the sideline. Paul is only eight years old, but he's lightning fast. Jordan makes the quick pass. Bumpity bump, bumpity bump, bumpity bump. Paul drives left, pulls back for the jumper. He lets it go and scores. The crowd goes wild. In your dreams, Chris. My brother CJ and his friends were just getting back from the playground. They loved to tease me about my game. You're too small to play basketball, said one friend. And tiny, said another. Did we mention small, added a third. They all laughed. CJ stayed behind as his friends left. They're right, you know, Chris, he said. The ball is bigger than you are. I threw back my shoulders and straightened up. Maybe, I said, but I've got good hands. Come on, help me practice. Tryouts are only a week away. Hey, called our mother from the doorway. What you boys need to practice is setting the table and eating your vegetables. Basketball will still be there after supper. At school the next day, I didn't pay much attention. All I could think about were the tryouts. When my teacher talked about math, I remembered that the average height of a player in the NBA was six feet, seven inches tall. I was only four feet, one inch tall, and I wasn't going to get much taller in the next few days. So there he is thinking, thinking about how tall he is and thinking about those tryouts. That night, I was lying in bed with mom, when mom came in. What are you thinking about, Chris? Coach is only going to take 15 players. What if he thinks I'm too small? Mom smiled. You're a great basketball player, Chris, but basketball isn't the only thing that matters. Your family matters. Your education does too. And worrying about your height won't make you any better. Just do the best you can with the gifts you have. Then she gave me a kiss goodnight. And I fell asleep dreaming of a basketball moon shooting across the night sky. But I was still feeling scared on Saturday when I helped out my grandfather, Papa Chili, at a service station. You look a little flattened yourself. You look a little deflated, sorry, said Papa Chili as I filled a flat tire. What's up? Everyone says I'm too small to make the basketball team. I said, nothing wrong with being nervous, said Papa Chili. Look, Chris, you can't make yourself taller, but you can get faster and stronger. He winked at me. Work harder than everyone else on the court and your size won't matter. Over the next few days, I spent hours and hours practicing. I shot layups and foul shots. I dribbled first with one hand and then with the other. I ran sprints to build up my wind. Getting that cardio in. One day, my brother came out to the driveway where I was resting. Hey, Squirt, said CJ. I've been watching you. Really? I didn't know CJ ever watched me. 
Yeah, well, don't tell anyone, said CJ. But listen, when you drive to the basket, don't look at the ball. Your hand should know where the ball is without looking. I nodded. And when somebody tries to fake you out, don't watch their arms or their head. Keep your eye on their hips. Nobody goes anywhere without their hips. The night before the tryouts, I could hardly eat. Try to relax, Chris, said Dad. You're a good player. He isn't worried about being good, said CJ. He's worried about being short. It's true, I said. What if the coach makes up his mind about me before I even play? My father shook his head. A good coach will want to see what you're made of. And remember, Mom added, you're not alone in this. The whole family is behind you. There they are having dinner, getting ready for tryouts the next day. There were tons of kids at the tryouts, and all of them were taller than I was. My heart was pounding. I wondered if anyone could see it thumping out of my chest. Everyone looked excited, but a lot of us would be going home disappointed. I knelt down and retied my sneakers. Then I took a few deep breaths. Here we go. The coach split us into several teams. When my team took the court, I got the inbounds pass. I dribbled up court. The opposing guard watched the ball closely, too closely. I faked the pass right and then went left for an open shot. Swish. Good move, Chris, yelled Dad. I got the ball back after the next basket, and the defense boxed me in. I forced a shot, but it was swatted away, and I was knocked to the ground. Careful, don't step on him, somebody shouted from the sidelines. Hmm. I was done. I could feel it. I didn't dare look at the coach, but I heard Papa Chili cheering from the stands. He didn't think I was done. He thought I was just getting started. I picked myself up and got back on defense. The other team's biggest player had the ball. I washed his hips just like CJ had told me to. When he tried to fake right, I wasn't fooled. I darted in and stole the ball. I heaved a chest pass to my teammate under the basket, and right at the buzzer, he scored. Afterward, we all waited for the big decision. The coach sat by himself for a few minutes, looking at his notes. Then he stood up and came forward. You all look great today, he said. Everyone should be proud of that. I held my breath. So here's our team for the coming season. The coach named three centers, then the six forwards. That left six more spaces for guards. I wasn't the first player named or the second. Three more names went by. There was only one left. What if it wasn't me? There they are waiting waiting for their names to be called. And Chris Paul, the coach finished up. I had done it. I had made the team. My parents and Papa Chili gave me a huge hug. Even CJ was impressed. Not bad for a squirt, he said. Nope, I said to myself, not bad at all. The end. Way to persevere, Chris Paul. Way to show them what you got. 